welcome to job skills share today we are making a lecture video and the lecture title is how to get your first help desk job now why this lecture let's go a little bit history because if you're coming from YouTube Google or any other place and this is your first time you might be talking to yourself that what is he talking about so the reason I'm doing this is uh, a few years ago I created a video on YouTube few videos and uh, a lot of people really liked it um, and in that video basically I kinda tell people how to start your IT career and how to make things easy for yourself and get some good information so you guys can see these are all the comments you guys can read it uh, to get more confidence or maybe relate your situation um, to it like for example this person hey man I felt as though you were talking to me so it's like you know um, I put my scenario and then I presented this video and made everything um, and it helps a lot of people so after this I created a course because I had a lot of people now asking me to create a course and at that time I had only 10 students and now it's more than 6,000 students um, it's on UDMI uh, it's not an open course so you guys can just uh, actually type go to Google type UDMI Dan desktop and this is the first one uh, that's my name uh, it's called Danish Heather that's how you pronounce it uh, founder of jobskillshare.org so you guys can click on that and watch the uh, free course and it's a free course basically but it's kind of old so I pref I suggest you guys go to the second this this is where this the this platform came in because now I needed more powerful system and I need to get more students and make the way I wanted to do things so now we have more more than over 10,000 students in this platform alone and we have a lot of different courses uh, in UDMI is just one course which is outdated so I will suggest you guys register to this site which is also free and uh, then you guys can scroll down and read about other things what courses are completed uh, the team members and uh, some of the uh, testimonials by people I mean there's a lot of testimonial but I just picked out a few um, okay that's the history behind this whole lecture uh, now that you guys know that where I'm coming from why I'm doing this lecture let's get started so let's say you're in the situation where you have a little bit experience and you have that resume ready and you just want to go and apply but let's say for example you just went to college I'll just put college here and you finish some technical course okay it's it was three months and you got a degree or maybe small certificate or something great or maybe you got a degree because that's what a lot of people will go for so, or you did a bachelor's you went to some university and you uh, got a bachelor's right and your resume you okay you're done with that course and now you have a resume ready now there's a second person who also did the same thing and also took some technical courses now you know just a common sense to uh, HR manager or HR assistant whoever hire you uh, or whoever is looking at your resume both side by side 90% um, they will remove your resume from there so uh, the reason being I'm being realistic here okay not your associates only and your bachelor's degree only in this field uh, especially in IT uh, it won't work that much with um, when when it, when you get a job I mean you I'm not saying you you cannot get it this is totally not the right thing you can get it I mean it's totally locked in but to my knowledge and the way I see other people and the way I saw so many of my students got jobs um, uh, they had to do a lot of things with their resume and it, it's not easy but it's not too difficult at the same time it's very doable it's actually doable more than just saying it's not easy so here's what you can do to boost your resume this is for people who have a very empty resume uh, so you want to boost your resume first so what do you do to boost your resume how can you use a lot of free information out there to make your resume pretty good so boost your resume with technical courses and certificates what do I mean by this let me just give you one quick example 
if you guys are going for A+, plus, uh, I'm sure you guys know by now, if you're taking my courses, Professor Messers teaches a full A+, plus professional level course. I mean, his course covers everything about A+, plus, okay? So, at this point, since a lot of people know his way of teaching, and let's say I'm an IT specialist and someone comes to me and say, I have done the Professor Messer course. And I can test that person from it and he passes it. I'm just going to hire him because I know this guy covers everything in A+. And if I was looking for A+, I really don't have to um, I'll go in details with this guy because I know he's eager to learn more. But if someone has a CompTIA A+, certification, that's also good. So what I did in my platform also created, I contacted Professor Messer and I was like, uh, your site is open to everybody. Great. Anyone can go and read uh, and they will learn a lot of things so uh, the great professor Messer allowed me to use his course and then I was like I'm gonna make tests and things like that and then I will make uh, basically a completion certificate so what what will happen now is that people can go and read about professor Messer and then learn from these videos they can also put that on their resume that they have done this course they have finished the professor Messer course and you can put the link and they can also come to this platform and go through the pro the CompTIA A plus uh, by professor Messer and finish the course and get the certificate uh, and then that they can also put that on their resume okay the second way is to um, then we have our own courses which is basically I created the whole course and it's called help the support entry level the specialist now this course is very entry level to at very advanced now you deal with some software deployment PowerShell some cool names that when people know when you put that on your resume your resume will look good like office 365 deployments of office or deployments to 300 computers imaging cloning and these are all terms and at that time at, th at this point what will happen is that when you go through this course and when you start that interview you know usually you get a call from them and then when you start talking and then you, when you have a lot of things to say at this point this person will know that you know what you're talking about but if they ask you too many questions then it's not easy for you to answer technical um, technical question to technical answers it's not that easy for some people like for me you know if you ask me a technical question right away I might have to think a little bit I mean I know I'm good with it I can go and find things but I'm not too quick to react to things so I mean that's these are just simple things that I want you guys to um, take note of so you guys can go to this course and learn about so many different terms and also learn what I do at work I'll just give you guys one good example right here so let's go to this course and let's go to the bottom and go to the learning path. So when you go to the learning path, click on help this projects and certificate and this will this will open the full course right here, okay? So let's just go ahead and click on real world scenarios why do I think this course will help you because when you see these real world scenarios right here <coughs> this is basically showing you exactly what happened at work okay so it tells you right here example one this is a real world question and then how do we solve it there's a video about it example three it, sh it tells you that how did the um, uh, how did we get the ticketing system call and then description and then how did we solve it you can click here to, uh, to get the solution so these are like a real world calls and then how did we solve it so for example someone asked you in this in interview uh, that how did you solve this if there was a person with having an issue with a remote desktop how how do you go to this and solve this and if you knew this you would just say oh yeah you go to groups you go to remote desktop uh, group and then add a user and then he get he, this problem will be solved those are the things that you know if you do a lot of real world examples and this is why I made this full course that covers every single thing uh, this will give you more when you when you start talking in interview it will give you more technical terms and you will have more to say and this is why I say it will boost your resume um, 
when you go to your resume back in there let me just go back here and when you type all those things that I, you have to help the support specialist course you have to active directory user management course you have to professor master a plus course all that stuff when you put it out there your resume is already starting to build and it's starting to boost up the second thing that you need to know is the certification known and demanding certification I mean CompTIA A plus, CompTIA Network Plus, we all know about it. You also should think about now the Microsoft MTA and MCSA, uh, which is Windows 8 2.8.1 uh, or 8. Um, you guys should really look into that uh, because you know, still we have we will put a lot of technical courses and everything uh, to make it uh, to boost it. But these certifications are known because they are like this is something that. Uh, if a non-technical person is hiring you they're just gonna look into these certifications like oh this person did CompTIA because somebody told me check for CompTIA or check for MCSA or something like that and they will look into oh this guy have this guy does have two things that my IT manager asked me to look for he has a plus and he has Microsoft then when he basically call you and you get to start talking about your other uh, accomplishment then you have pretty much 80% 70% of chances that your resume is gonna get up to the uh, IT team where they're gonna take the real interview apply everywhere set time in the morning and night let me tell let me tell you about the whole applying thing like you will go to a site for example right now let's just go to the site and I'll go to indeed.com my favorite site Oops, what am I doing? Indeed.com, and I live in Silver Spring, Maryland, which is the DMV, uh, Maryland, DC, Virginia. Uh, so I'll put my zip code, actually, 53. So if I do my zip code right here, and now if I put help desk. help this support or just put help this I'll put help this support just to make it clear and now I do date you can see how many jobs is going to be there already in there so by date you're not gonna see too many right away but like for example you have seen one right here uh, you can go down now help this tier 2 uh, support technician 20 to 25 dollars an hour let's see what they're looking for though I'm gonna click on help the support technician and their requirements are now their requirements are a little bit high four to seven years now they specifically put four 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 and two 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 and everything but this is what I want you guys to um, take a note here but this thing right here four years for IT customer service software now these people are looking into a person who is really experienced now maybe not but you can give it a try though definitely you can send your resume out uh, some people they put four or three or two but uh, if they know that you are eager to learn things and you're good you have all you took those technical courses uh, you do get chance to basically get an interview and you can prove it in an interview then they don't care about these four years or two years uh, what they're asking for is very basic stuff here troubleshooting PC issue troubleshoot ID customer software uh, IT help the support uh, honestly this is this is just basic there's nothing in this uh, course and they uh, this job in 20 to 25 dollars an hour not bad so this is what I mean by boosting your resume yeah that they can when you when you do when you do stuff like that uh, people can actually let go of these four years or three years now if somebody's really stingy about these things they might not be okay but I I believe a lot of people are okay with just letting it go with the four years and uh, uh, anything that uh, has to just do anything with years when you start showing um, things like uh, uh, technical courses on your resume the reason is that that anyone in IT field when they see this stuff they already know that now okay this person is really serious about 
getting this job this person is really serious eager to learn more and it's beneficial for the company and for the IT team because now this person is bringing something uh, some good stuff um, because um, when you hire a person with no experience now you have to really teach them everything uh, honestly it's not an easy job for someone who is working full-time and uh, doing their job and now they have to teach everything to this new person so if a new person already put a lot of stuff that uh, is hot out there like Microsoft Office 365 administration and uh, stuff like that Active Directory management and so you already know that this person already have done these courses I don't need to teach him a lot I just need to teach him what our company uh, specifically have or some softwares so that cuts out the time so they that's why I say that they will let go of the ears okay so set time in the morning and night apply 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 never give up the reason I'm saying you need to apply 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 is that you get a lot of jobs right here you can see it's only uh, 18 hours 13 hours 4 hours so help this IT jobs are right now they are booming you know there's so many jobs out there but you have to apply and never give up but with with many jobs there are a lot of people actually applying for IT jobs too now I uh, give example just a few uh, 30 40 minutes ago to a person that six of my friends my good friends they were in a different major they were taking different uh, um, side of uh, uh, they were someone's doing like you know engineering someone's doing something else biology uh, so now out of that that six five people are in IT so you can see how things are changed when I was doing this video all of them were studying different majors and that this video was done in 2011 yeah 2011 and now we're in 2015 we're almost in 2015 and almost five of them are actually working in IT not applying they're working in IT and some of them some of other ones are just studying about IT right now so your competition is gonna get harder if you wait more it is gonna get harder and harder because the new generation are already very technical so you're not gonna get too easy jobs unless you go for real hard jobs then yeah you're gonna get some but the easy jobs are gonna be taken over by uh, a lot of people I can tell you that so it, this is the very good time right now for you to learn these specific skills and start applying and get into the field and start learning the advanced skills um, so this is it I mean this is it for my uh, in uh, last one sorry internship or, or entry-level job so I already discussed that you guys can go to any major um, um, sites that offer jobs and look for jobs like indeed.com and look for help desk jobs and apply if you see internships make sure you apply that if you know someone that is in IT uh, make sure you talk to them they can they can teach you some skills and also my platform is going to be always there for you guys where I am going to be adding more and more courses like uh, like for example a system administration course so let's say you're done with the help desk you have done few years of help desk now you want to move on there's going to be advanced courses for you uh, Windows system administrator uh, Linux uh, system administrator we just started that there's going to be Cisco uh, engineering course uh, a lot of advanced stuff is going to be uh, be here uh, this is all real world uh, uh, courses so we only teach we will definitely uh, guide you to basic information where to get basic stuff and, uh, and and get that information for free and then also when you come back learn some advanced stuff what exactly we do at work so then you are uh, your mind is cri uh, crystal clear how to start your IT job and our main uh, purpose of this whole platform is that when you get a job uh, you come back and um, give to the community uh, and start your own course how did you get your job and or maybe you want to uh, jump in and add something to this course so this is the whole idea of this whole videos that I'm doing this whole platform that I created and everything so hopefully it will work out for other people just like it's been working out for so many people uh, you guys can read the comments on the bottom and go to other videos. There's so many videos uh, on this channel and make sure to subscribe 
uh, and also like our Facebook page. Okay, hopefully we'll see you guys in different video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.